I don't agree with big tech censorship of ideas. I think people should be able to state their views, whether those views are delusional, outrageous, ridiculous, or hateful. I see many conservatives on these platforms complaining that it's conservative thought in general that's being censored. Well, I'm going to have to disagree. None of the things that people are being censored for or people are being banned for are actually conservative ideas or conservative principles. Though most of the people who profess those beliefs are conservative. Not all, but most. You're not allowed to say that a particular demographic is less deserving of compassion than other demographics. Unless that demographic in question is blatantly shown to be less compassionate towards people for things they have no control over. So if you act like the worst stereotype of an unfiltered southern religious redneck carrying a confederate flag, it will likely be considered okay to treat you with less compassion than other demographics because it will be shown and proven that you have less compassion towards anyone who isn't part of your very specific demographic. Now, as I was editing this video, I realized that I needed to talk about some of the double standards that some of these big tech platforms seem to have. You can state anything negative you want about straight, white Christian males. Anything you want, as nasty as you want to be, and they seem to think it's okay. And I'm not okay with that. You know, if they're going to have these standards, they should hold it to everyone. Just saying. Okay, I'm gonna continue the video now. So, for instance, you can't say that gay people choose to be gay. You can't state or imply that being gay is wrong. You can't promote gay conversion therapy. You can't say that black people have low IQs or that they're inferior. You can't say that there's no such thing as trans people or that they have a mental illness that needs to be corrected. You can't imply that there should be some sort of trans conversion therapy available. You can't say that women should take a submissive role. There are other examples, but you get the idea. You can't call the pandemic a hoax. You can't speak against the recommendations of the medical community. You can't make claims that the election was stolen. None of these things actually need to be attached to being a conservative. They have nothing to do with conservative principles. I mean, there are unfortunately people who call themselves liberal who have these beliefs as well. So it's kind of interesting. If something has been shown to disproportionately affect one group more than others, even if that group is not directly being targeted, it feels oppressive to that group nevertheless. So we see conservatives screaming that conservative principles are under attack, even if it's just bigoted and hateful things, and misinformation. But most of these same people completely outright deny that there is systemic racism in this country, no matter how much proof is shown. You know, typically, some of these people will have arguments against there being systemic racism in this country by saying things like, oh, you're just making that up. You're exaggerating. You just want to play the victim. It doesn't matter if your group is disproportionately affected. That's on you. That's all because of the way your group is acting. Don't act like a thug and you won't get treated like one. And it's kind of funny how some of these same people don't appear to have a mirror to look into. So, as I may not promote censorship, and I may speak against censorship, I do sometimes have to laugh to myself about the effects and hypocrisy about how little empathy some of these people seem to have towards other demographics while constantly playing the victims. And again, not all. I need to repeat multiple times, not all. Because, you know, I have to protect the feelings of those who take this stuff personally, right? Anyway, 